Okay, and that time card there, oh, no, time card recap actually, what am I saying? He said that he's on his way to rescue Rouge, even though in the next cutscene he says, that says I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. Hey guys, it's come here and we are back with more Sonic Adventure 2 last time we <coughs> man <coughs> got the whole team of three of Dark together to get them. Free chaos emotes here on the island, and now I'm facing off with Sonic here. Because, yeah, that recap though, Shadow says he was on his way to rescue Rouge, and. But in this next cutscene that we're gonna see here, well, technically it's the one after it, but. Oh well. Cl it's close enough, because there were technically. Like, it's like four cutscenes in one. And so, that's why I can't. So, I don't know how you count that as, if it, as one or not, but. And, but, I don't know, we'll just, just let it, we'll just let it play out and see what I'm, and you'll see what I'm saying. Life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow. Maria, I just don't know anything anymore. I often wonder why I was created, what my purpose is for being here. Maybe if I go down there, I, I will find the answers. Maybe. So melancholy. That was so unexpected. So unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. But your ability to use the chaos control certainly comes in handy. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the chaos emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's <laughs> not the <laughs> is it? I think it's ready to go. Are you sure? only have six of the seven chaos animals, you know. It's more than enough for the demonstration. So let's get the ship on the road.
set. Well, that was really impressive. You've managed to create complete havoc on the whole planet. Does this now mean we control the planet and can do as we choose? At this rate, the can will take too much time to charge up. If you want to unleash its full potential, you'll need all seven chaos emblems. Where in the world have you been? Something happened? Our threats fell on deaf ears. Look at you, throwing a tantrum like a little kid. How totally embarrassing. Don't forget your end of the bargain, that girl. What about that? But anyway, so, so that, Cutting has a few things of what I've mentioned due to that recap thing from earlier, but what Shadow said in that one cutscene there, but, but anyways, we have another one of these car driving stages here, and this is the last one, so, so that's something, I think it's pretty much the same as Tails is, except the course is different, and it's a lot harder because there's more turns and stuff. Again, also the point where we're in the tunnel here where it gets more narrow, well, they they turn now because, well, we'll see it when we come up to it, but, but, but before in the tail's one run of this, uh, stage of this, the, the turn, the point where it went narrow in the tunnel, no, it just was straight all the way, but for a rouge here, they now come to the point where there's turns. And ne which makes this one harder. Oh, so, well, that's something. Being in yet, in yeah. So that cutting there before this, uh, it kind of references some moments from Sonic Adventure from Point when Tails stopped Eggman from the first Egg Walker. And look, we can still drive backwards as Rouge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Who do you think I am, Mater from Cars? Maybe. <laughs> Watch this. I'm gonna make this 90 degree turn backwards. <laughs> okay, I won't do that again. I just wanted to show that off for, for, for that heck of it. But yeah, that's cool that they even referenced the points from the Sonic Adventure and one stuff. So, oh, that reward ceremony that we talked about probably took place sometime after the last story when Station Square wasn't flooded anymore or because because <laughs> after during the whole is that the ending cutting of, thing of the last story of Sonic Adventure it was just water everywhere and we don't really see it get cleaned up <gasps> uh, so that's something thing that we never really see but we just assume it gets cleaned up somehow Oh, but, but anyway, coming up to the narrow part here, but, but that one's not too bad because on how short it is, but it's this one right here. As you can see, look, look how narrow this is. <laughs> well, it's not as narrow as it really looks, but just trying to drive through that thing fast enough without hitting any walls is the hard part because there was an annoying mission, that extra mission that requires you to go through that kind of semi-fast and but I'll save that for when we do, for a bonus video. <clears throat> uh, and, yeah. Anyway, I keep saying the end, yeah, I don't know why. And we just walk, we cross the finish line, woohoo! And, and so, so from Tales to Save Station Square, so, I guess that means City Escape is Station Square. 
which is Station City Escape just looks like San Francisco because of all those streets or <laughs> when we were snowboarding down them. And you have a call up to Tails who is playing and looks more orange in the, in, instead of yellow. But it doesn't make too big of a difference. And in this angle, it looks like Tails is flying right next to Rouge. I don't know why. Every time I drive like over to the, to the right side like that, I always get this feeling that, that he's flying right next to him in that angle. Good. Oh, and yeah, mini game two player card mode is now available. Well, but that will be something I'll show off in a multiplayer video. Shadow, they are now the <laughs> And now here we are in, in Sky Rail here, which is. If you know what. <laughs> If you know about all the layout of this course so really well, you can easily speed run the, this. Which I might show that off off at some point, but not doing this one, one because I want to show all the pathways around it, and I also want to show this off as well, which is the ancient light. So just the, like a Sonic, Nick, pretty much you can use this, and so far it just shows me I'm fast now. But if you just press the control. What was supposed to happen there was I was supposed to keep going up and up all the way. Way to all, all those gun beetle bots. And not just die. I like that. But yeah, that's also another reason why I don't really use the light speed attack that much. Because you can fly, fall off of it. It might not take you where you want to go. <laughs> go for like, if you're gonna do, for like a trail of enemies like that, if it's above a bottomless pit. But. Luckily, that's optional. Oh, and the, the gimmick of this, that this stage has is these spring fan things. Whatever, I really don't know what they're called, but what you have to do is keep homing attacking them, as you can see there. And almost spin dash right off. No. But no. You have to keep homing attacking them to go up, but you don't want to mash it too fast. You want to do it kind of like, wait well, towards like the highest, po you're at the highest point of your jump. And then do it again. Oh gosh. Because like if I just. I went for the whole robot. Alright. Did not mean to collect the animal. I meant to get off to the way else. So I could just spin dash across. But yeah. But anyway. Oh by the way. This gun robot right here. You can't kill. Unless you have invincibility things. The invincibility with you. And the only way how you can kill him in there. Is just make him drive off. Yeah, if you oh, yeah, if you saw that, if you, if you just keep mashing A, you're just gonna, it's just not gonna go up and nothing's gonna happen. And so, that's something that can be a little tricky to figure out for, at first, but you can, eventually it's easier to ma figure out, but luckily this is the only stage that has it, that so, so that's something. But yeah, I keep... But yeah, I usually don't die in that stage, really. But, um, well, I'm definitely not... I was supposed to aim for the Golden Gun Beetle. But I'm definitely not getting the A rank. But, but that's okay. <laughs> all right, it's not an all A rank run. <laughs> so, let's get up here. And it's also a pretty short stage for age as well, but... As you can see, I can't, uh, I can't well, we like a minute, look at that, we're already at the end and it's a minute and a half in. Well, technically it took longer than that because I kept dying, but yeah, it doesn't count. The time just keeps going, starts back where it was from when you die, or when you got the checkpoint after you die. we go, huh? that stage is done, and now for some more cutscenes. Doctor, they're heading directly toward us. What should we do?
have noticed that Sonic did not have any of his pupils in that shot where the egg golem was looking down on him and or, or Sonic was looking up on him. But yeah. well, anyway, if you look, go back and look closely, you can see him. And, and now we're fighting the egg golem as a Eggman here. And it's a, it operates differently and it's a little easier and quicker. And However, if you fall in the quicksand, you actually sink and just ride all those platforms there. So you can just shoot him a whole bunch like this and his health will slowly go down. But, but what you actually want to do is see those these cracks on him and one of the cracks already opened and has something you can shoot that would do way more damage and somehow I did not get hit there. And there we go. I was, wasn't letting me lock you onto them for some reason. <laughs> I did, but yeah, other than that, he pretty much has, the egg golem pretty much has the same moves as before, but it's much easier and quicker, but yeah, here we go, and I can just jump in like this, and zink. <laughs> yeah, I, that fight's way easier to, to as Eggman, but it's pretty much the same nonetheless. Green light for launch, primary engine ignition on, beginning liftoff countdown. Coming to Mad Space. To be honest, this is probably my least favorite treasure hunting level in the game. But not because it's hard, but rather because it's just so open and it's a giant bottomless pit below us. Because, like, bottomless pit, but, but yeah, it, it's still kind of a cool level nonetheless. And so we have to activate that switch there. You know, to go up to this planet here, and if we go in this thing. What is this? Iron boots. Now we can pick these steel containers, and do not mean to do that. As the, there we go. Oh, and well, I guess also another reason is that the it's so easy. To just the emeralds just feel like the the locations for the emeralds can be so spread out, um, and it just doesn't feel just kind of gets a little annoying. And this is definitely one of the harder stages to get the A rank on. You know. Oh wait. Oh, there it is. I thought it was in that meteor here there. Unless there was one in it. <laughs> and, uh, I wouldn't have thought there would have been one in there. <laughs> but usually what I like to do is just try to go up to the top of the map and like scout out each area around here and then just keep going up to the top of the map. And such, just to see if I can find it any on the way up here. Doesn't look like there is, but keep looking around. And, uh, there could be one in here, but that is a potential spot where an emerald could be. Yeah, as well as over here. Here, but doesn't look there to be, but let's just go down. And then see what else is over here, but. 
But yeah, the, you know what the craziest thing is? This is probably the most played treasure hunting stage in multiplayer, right? despite the fact it's about my least favorite. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but I guess it's some. It is for some reason. But I guess it's just more, more fun map to play as a multiplayer one than a single player one. One that could also be it. Yeah, so. I can't seem to find where this emeralds are here. So I'm definitely not getting that A rank. Okay, I'll use the hint. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, yeah, check your readings are in reverse. Alright. Oh, okay, hold on. I just need to check school away, so. So, uh, whatever that says, I don't want to take the time to read it. But, yeah, the, I think it was also like this for uh, Meteor, you, you heard as well, but I found the almost like too quickly to whale. I just didn't need them. Um, so, that's something. But, and yeah, whatever the heck these emeralds are, I just so not hard to find. It's definitely a fun map to drill down, that is, just so we can see how fast you go and such. So, yeah, anything? Oh, wait, there we have an emerald! Wow, I didn't think I would actually find one without the radar on it. <laughs> well, I did. Wow, I really didn't think I was gonna get that again. <laughs> I want to agree it's the last time we're gonna be do. Now it's gonna happen because we don't have any more treasure hunt show hunting stages after this. Yeah. Yeah, but if I just like yeah, if I get below this pl any of these platforms right now, it's all bottomless, instant death. But the place I haven't really checked was here, and uh, yeah, this planet has gravity, which is why I don't really. Oh, it is here. Yeah, this planet here has gravity. It's where if you get upside down, it gets like hard, really hard to control. Yeah. And keep in mind, this is all before Super Mario Galaxy, so so they're so you try to attempt to do walking on planets, which. It doesn't be, it's okay at first, but when, it's still kind of awkward to control when you're on the upside down part of it. Which, with, Gal, with the Gal, Super Mario Galaxy games, they kept it nice and simple and it works just fine. Fine, and the control was just perfect than that. <laughs> Even if you're upside down where the camera is right, right side up, up as well, you're still controlled fine. Like going down there, but anyway, there we go. I don't know how that didn't work, but but now time to go up and not go then go all the way because he hit the orange bar thing. Now, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, like when he's climbing the wall like that, just make sure you're not right underneath him because he'll then do the drill dive and get you. Oh, dude, you need to get a ring. Oh, ooh. I got it. <laughs> Look at that. I keep having trouble getting him. Uh -huh. I got him there. All right. Darn it, dude. Oh my. No. Well, no. Now, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, I could have sworn he was in the other one, and nope. Yep. Now the platform's back to normal. And yeah, you can climb it up that thing if you want, but it's not really necessary to when it's closed. Well, there he is. I was like, where was he? 
There we go. That took a longer than the, when we did this as knuckles, but in the end it doesn't really matter because how long it takes because we still win in the end.